Hello calculus folks, this is Mr. McAllen and today we're going to go over the second derivative test for relative extrema. What we use this test for is in the event that we can't use a first derivative number line test to find out if we have a local min or local max, we'll resort to the second derivative test for finding a local min and a local max. So let me just explain the basic idea. Um, you need first of all um, to have a function where um, the first derivative equals zero so at these points so this would be the function f of x and you would find the critical point let's call that um, at x equals a and over here we have at x equals b um, the first derivative equals zero and for this one the first derivative of a equals zero so you first of all have to find your critical points, but you're not going to be able to use this test on critical points where the first derivative doesn't exist. The first derivative has to exist, and the second derivative, if it's greater than the second derivative at a, if it's greater than zero, or in this case over here it's less than zero, that indicates that the curvature of the function is concave down. So if you have a critical point and it's concave down, then that means that you have a local max value. Over here, we have a second derivative at b, the critical point, where <clears throat> it's, uh, the second derivative is positive. That would mean, or uh, you could say is greater than 0. That would mean that you have <clears throat> a concave up interval, and you would have uh, a local min. So let's take advantage of this uh, and do some second derivative testing to find out if our function has a local max or local min. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my derivative, 3x squared minus 12. I'm going to set it to 0 to find my critical points. And I find out that um, my critical points are at negative 2 and positive 2. So I'm going to use those values and I'm going to check them in my second derivative once I find it. So let me just, um, I'm just going to try to make this smaller so I have more room to work. So, all right, uh, that was pretty neat. So, um, so now I know my critical points are at um, negative 2 and 2 because that's where my derivative equals 0. So I'm going to take my second derivative. That equals 6x. All I have to do is plug in these critical values into 6x and see what I get. So f prime prime at negative 2 equals negative 12. And I don't even really care that it's negative 12. The fact that it's negative means that my function is frowning and this is the point of, of relative max. So I have uh, a relative max at x equals negative 2 because um, because f prime of x e, f prime I should say f prime at negative 2 equals 0 and f prime prime at negative 2 equals a, po, um, a negative value that would be the second derivative justification. Um, if I plug into this uh, the positive 2, I get positive 12. And that would be a location where I have concave up at a critical point. So this would be an area of a local min. And you would explain it the same way we did for the local max. Moving along, I have another type of question where we can use this directly. So um, what we have in this question is it's asking us, or the question may ask us, uh, given the first derivative, find where you have a um, local min or local max using the first derivative. So what I would do is I would first find my critical point, x equals 1. Remember, this is just the uh, first derivative they've given us. And x equals negative 2. These would be your critical points to check. So now I would take my second derivative, 
And using the product rule, I would say the derivative of the first part is 1 times x plus 2. And the derivative of the, um, I would add to it, the derivative of the second part is, uh, that would be the derivative of x plus 2 would be 1 times x minus 1. I would simplify this. I would then have 2x plus 1 as my second derivative. And now I don't need to set this to 0. I just need to plug in my critical points. So f prime prime at um, 1 would yield a positive, five value, uh, positive 3 value. Oh, Got to be careful with my arithmetic. f prime prime at uh, negative 2 would yield a um, negative 4 plus 1. That would be negative 3. So that would tell me at the two critical points, so at, at x equals 1, um, f prime of x equals 0, f prime prime of x equals, um, I should really put the value in, f prime at, oh, pardon me, come on, f prime at 1 is 0, and f prime prime that one is positive, so therefore um, a local, let me draw that, it doesn't look like that, it looks like this, it's a local min because f prime equals zero and f prime prime is positive, local min, and at uh, x equals negative two, f prime at negative two equals zero and f prime at negative two, f prime prime at negative two is negative, I have a local max. And this is, again, the second derivative test. I hope this video helps explain, help explain how uh, we use a second derivative test uh, to find a relative max or relative min. I look forward to hearing your comments, or if you want to uh, just add a comment to the video, that would be great too. Have a good night.